Taurus, what's going on guys? So this is your pop-up read, okay? I'm gonna just pull some cards for y'all and get a general message out for you guys, okay? I hope you all are happy, healthy, and safe. And with that being said, we're just gonna jump right into it, all right? So for my Taurus, uh, right off the bat, Taurus, you got the five of wands coming out and then you also do have the king of swords coming out in reverse. Messages for Taurus, please. You got the sun card coming out as well. Messages for Taurus. You got the King of Cups showing his face. And we got the Ace of Wands coming out. And you also do have the Queen of Swords. This could have been someone you were, you were in a relationship with. Um, you two definitely could have been heavily connected. Um, divorced couple even, if not divorce, a breakup. Yeah, with the Four of Pentacles, somebody released the situation, dropped the situation. Somebody does seem to be upset or something came out, something was exposed. Yeah, with the world and the Knight of Cups could have been the fact that somebody like offered something to somebody else, the fact that somebody could have even was intimate with another person. Um, a fight could have broke out or conflict could have started with the Five of Wands with the Eight of Swords. Someone isn't over it with this King of Swords in reverse. What's this Five of Wands? Can I get some messages for Taurus, please? Yeah, you got the Nine of Swords. Somebody does not want to fight. Somebody does not want conflict. Somebody's actually... Somebody could have even said something during an argument that they regret or even did something during an argument that they regret. I'm hoping it's no type of like abuse, but it does kind of give that, yeah, somebody didn't, somebody wasn't using their their judgment in a certain situation um, or their intuition. Like somebody just was not thinking at all with this King of Swords in reverse and this High Priestess in reverse. Again, could be a Libra, Chris, Gemini, doesn't have to be, even be a Pisces, doesn't have to be, but this could be someone you were just with. What's this sign? It's almost like it's giving off an energy of like someone being like unhinged in a certain situation or about something. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles, could definitely be like an outside party. You got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy out here. Taurus, only take it if it resonates, you could have been this outside party. What's this Ace of Wands? Yeah, with the Seven of Swords, somebody could even deliberately got in between you and another person. Like they made it, they seen a weakness in someone that you were around or like dating and they went for it and possibly even got with this person with the Page of Swords. They were watching this person with the judgment. Did someone knew what they were doing when they intervened in this situation? If that is resonating with you, what's this Queen of Swords? Or towards this could even be a thing where someone even stepped out of their relationship with you. I mean, to be with you with the King of Cups and the um, Seven of Wands. Like this, somebody who knew they they shouldn't they shouldn't have done this to someone with this um, King of Cups, Seven of Wands. This is someone who's very guarded emotionally with the Six of Wands. This is somebody who's if this person's closed off to you emotionally, they don't want you. Like this is someone who could even be a Leo. Could, yeah, even then I open it up. Heavy Leo energy. This person is in their feminine as well. Their feminine energy as well. What's this um, King of Cups 7 of Wands though? This is somebody who's like defensive, defensive, guarded towards you. Yeah, with the Page of Wands. This person is emotionally immature. What's this Four of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, with the Magician. If someone said they like walked away from you or they didn't want to be with you, it's... For them to gain like control over you, you got the higher friend. That's Taurus energy. So is this could be you or someone else that did that? Like someone's manipulating, like, especially if someone's like acting like they don't want to be with you or they're like releasing control or they don't hit you up yet with the eight of cups, like they're walking away. It's to manipulate you into like, I didn't get the devil card, but like being obsessed with them, wanting them, yearning for them. Someone like uses distance as like a weapon. What's the world card? Like they want you to ponder like what they're doing, who they're with. Nine times out of 10, this person isn't even really with anyone. Half the time, I feel like. Yeah, with the four cups in reverse. This is someone who just doesn't want a cycle to be over with you. Even if the two of y'all aren't together, this person just wants you in their energy and vice. I wanted to say vice versa. You could want the same thing with the two of pentacles. Someone doesn't care if they're being juggled or they're doing the juggling. Like whoever you're connected to, they're a juggler. Like they're gonna do it. Yeah, with the five of cups. Like, I don't know if you're like hoping someone's gonna like change or someone Taurus is hoping it's about you. Yeah, with the four of wands coming out. What's this knight of cups? You got the queen of cups. You got cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy out here. 
Yeah, this person definitely was either in a relationship with you or someone else and this person was stepping out. Someone was stepping out with the death and that caused the ending to whatever this was. Could even be with the Scorpio, with the Emperor in reverse at the bottom of the deck and the Nine of Cups. So Taurus, that was your reading, okay? I definitely do hope the messages resonate with y'all and I definitely do hope the, <laughs> the messages were useful for you guys, okay? And until next time, bye.